the next one uh, in this session i mean in this uh, screen it is asking you the different database editions which is uh, which we can support from the uh, software media which we uh, used so we have discussed about the the different uh, features of enterprise edition enterprise uh, standard edition and standard edi edition 1 okay okay so in this screen we will be selecting the enterprise edition and we will just proceed with the, the next button okay now it is oracle is asking you asking us the location where which the software to be installed so in the previous session we discussed about the the, the different values of oracle base and the oracle home yes okay so you can see that the oracle base for this location is given as slash u02 slash app slash oracle okay okay so since that is that we don't have a location over there so to have a common location i'll be just changing this directory as slash oracle okay, okay. so when i change the base what happens is that under the under base say I, i'll just give the oracle uh, slash as oracle app okay so the my oracle base is slash oracle slash app and you can see that the by default the oracle home directory the second location is showing, showing the oracle home directory and we discussed the oracle home directory is the place where which the oracle software gets installed yes yeah so oracle home directory is coming as oracle base directory then after that product then 11.2.0 then db underscore home if you remember this value was mentioned in the product uh, aura param dot ini which we saw in the initial uh, uh, session yes is that clear yes okay so we'll select uh, this one we are getting a warning message um that uh, we are getting some uh, uh, some uh, message telling that the we have to make sure that the path at which we are installing should be an empty directory okay okay so uh, in uh, in our case this is an empty directory because this is a path we are just uh, creating so that should not be a problem we'll with uh, go ahead with the installation okay okay now oracle is asking you the group of the software owner and also the group of the normal administrator if you remember we created the oracle user as a part of the dba group yes. okay so we'll select both the database owner as well as i mean the software owner as well as the uh, normal administrator group as db itself and uh, uh, we can if if you want uh, a uh, i mean if, if you want how more security control on the groups then we can have create uh, we can create different groups for the software owner as well as the different group for the normal administrator okay okay yeah just click on the next button okay now or what oracle is doing oracle is going to check some prerequisite checks it is checking that whether we have enough memory available for this one, whether we have the enough swap swap uh, spaces available whether we have uh, set the enough um, uh, kernel parameters everything so there is another option given by oracle if this uh, checks are not uh, uh, is not, if the checks are not uh, uh, successful then we have an option to fix and check it again so we'll just click this is a new feature provided by oracle 11g so we'll just uh, click on the fix and check again and see what happens okay so here what happens then oracle is telling you that there is it, we can run a script that is run fix uh, up.sh when you are running that one at that time oracle will normally fix the most of the issues and it is also shows you, shows us how to do this uh, run this program we may have to start one more terminal and log in as root and go to this location and run the script and then come back to the screen and do the uh, i mean uh, run the uh, continue without the installation program now uh, we'll go ahead and uh, run this script uh, uh, from uh, i mean as the root user so let's open in a terminal as root user and we'll uh, we'll start the uh, we'll run this program so we have a connection as root user so we'll go to the temp directory okay we can see that uh, there is a directory with under oracle user 
okay and we will uh, we'll see there is a the script called run fix run fix up dot sh so let's execute the script sh run fix up dot sh okay so it, it says that it has updated the kernel parameters now let's go back to the installation screen and proceed with the installation and see whether that uh, 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 our issues are resolved so when you're uh, clicking when you're proceeding the uh, the units installer again will recheck the uh, so when uh, uh, we can see that uh, once it is completed uh, the universe installer again running that uh, the uh, prerequisite checks and now we can see that there is only two errors there is a physical memory and the swap type and physical memory we know that uh, it is actually uh, the required values are there but it's it's just bit lesser than that of the uh, oracle recommendation so we can just ignore that uh, status i mean we, we can we can just click on the ignore all option and we can proceed with the installation because we have verified already we have it verified this 1 gb uh, size is there uh, the actual difference is there and also we know that uh, there is enough uh, su sufficient swap space almost 2 gb is there so we can ignore b uh, both uh, this uh, errors and we can proceed with our installation so just click on next okay so it is uh, let's go through the installation uh, and see what are the prerequisites and what is the status here so we can see that the disk space required is 4.29 GB and we have al already 5.53 GB available and all the products the source location of the pro uh, products is that the directory at which we uh, unzipped the oracle software that is slash oracle uh, oracle database directory inside that there is there is a stage directory is there and in inside the stage directory we can see product.xml which will tell about the uh, products and our oracle base uh, directory slash oracle slash app which is the base point of starting all the installations uh, in oracle 11g and oracle home the the place at which the oracle software is getting installed is being derived from the oracle base that is uh, under oracle base product 11.2.0 and db home underscore one and our os db group is dba okay now with this uh, all these options we can start the installation and we can even save the response file what the the response file will store all the values uh, which we given or which we supplied during the time of the uh, the uh, wizard process i mean uh, the previous uh, the nine screens uh, what are the values we give that values can be captured in the response file and this response file can be used for a silent bond installation this is uh, the response file is useful when we want to do multiple uh, like we want to do the installation in the silent mode uh, silent mode uh, installation is, is useful where in which getting the GUI is difficult and also the the places where uh, the GUI is slow so we'll st save uh, we'll save this uh, this the response file and we'll use this uh, for our uh, in the another session when we are doing the oracle in installation in the silent mode we'll use the response file so we'll save this response file and we are saving the response file under we'll save this uh, slash oracle slash db underscore db dot response file so we'll give a path slash oracle slash db dot rsp okay so we have the response file which will use for the uh, uh, cell mode installation now we can just click on the finish button and proceed with the installation Now the installation starts. We can see that there are different uh, steps like preparing the installation and copying the files and then uh, linking the binaries and finally we have to run some root scripts uh, to complete the Oracle installation. Installation is completed and Oracle uh, Universal Installer uh, providing and uh, uh, asking us to run the root.sh. 
So root.sh, when, when we are running the root.sh, it uh, creates uh, 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 certain files which is required for the proper function, uh, proper functionality of the Oracle software. Now the installation uh, is completed and Oracle is telling us to run the root.sh. When we are running the root.sh, it creates certain files um, like ORI, um, or a tab files like or a tab which will which will store the database information and also it, it changes the permission of uh, certain binary files and also it copies the uh, scripts like um, uh, or INV scripts uh, from the bin directory to, to the that the bin directory that is the directory at which the Oracle software binaries are uh, created from that directories to user bin directories. So we we have to open another terminal and log in as a root user and run the script. So let's we have another terminal that is the uh, that we have a terminal where in which we started the um, installation. Otherwise, we will start a new root. The root script uh, root data search will be there always there in the uh, software installation directory of Oracle. So we know that the Oracle software is installed at slash Oracle slash Oracle slash app. Then eleven dot two dot zero. Then db home underscore one. Looks like the path is different. Okay, here uh, it is a slash oracle slash app is our our uh, base directory oracle base directory. Under the oracle base directory, we have the product directory, and under product directory, we have the eleven dot two dot zero, and then we have the db home underscore one. Yeah, there if you are looking, we can see a script root dot search. We can run the root dot search by giving dot slash root.sh it say it gives you a certain information like the oracle owner is oracle user and oracle home is oracle app product 11.2.0 db underscore home and it is asking you the the local bin directory it is always it, it is for the linux operating system it will be user local bin so we can accept the default values and it says that the script db home is already available on user local bin it could be due to that there is there, there was an another installation of oracle software on this uh, computer that could be the reason that this file is already there so we can allow it to overwrite it and then it says that or INV is already there we can accept the uh, we can accept to overwrite it and it also says that co or INV is already available so we can accept the uh, accept to overwrite it also, it says that it creates a file or a etc slash or a tab file, and this is needed by the database configuration assistant, that is a DBCA, to create the files. And once this is created, uh, when we create the once or a tab file is available, whenever a database is being created by the database configuration assistant, the database information will be added to this file. We'll, uh, we'll study de in detail about this file when we are creating the database uh, using the DBCA. Now we can go back to our installation screen and continue with the rest of the installation process. Yeah. Since the con um, installation is completed, we can just click the OK button. It says that the installation of Oracle software is successful. So with it, with this uh, example, with this uh, class, we have completed the installation of Oracle 11G software on Linux environment. This the version of the Oracle software we installed was Oracle 11G release 2.0.1, and it was of 64-bit version. Hope this session is clear for you. In the next session.